Howdy folks, today we'll set up an SQL server to be used with Trimble 4D control. First we'll take a look at which SQL server versions can be used and then we'll go ahead and walk through the steps of setup. At this point the T4D installation package should already be downloaded and unzipped. Go ahead and open it up to find the release notes. In the PDF we'll scroll down to find the section named Supported SQL Servers. T4D version 5.0 includes the installation material for SQL Server 2017 Express Edition, so that's what we'll use today. Now we'll start the installation walkthrough, and I'll be sure to highlight a couple important steps along the way. We'll start by running the setup application, then click Yes to allow changes to the hard drive. When the splash page loads, go ahead and click Tools and Components, then SQL Server 2017 Express. Click yes when prompted to run the file, and click OK. This is the SQL Server Installation Center. We'll select the first option for new installation. In order to continue, you must accept the license terms, then click Next. If you wish to use Microsoft to check for updates, make that selection here, then click Next. After a few brief checks, we'll see a warning about Windows Firewall. This is just a warning that the firewall is enabled. In most cases, no action is required. Click Next. Here we can specify where the SQL server is installed. If you wish to define a different location, do so here. Click Next. Here we define the SQL server instance name. Take note of that instance ID as it's needed during the T4D install. Click Next. Leave these next settings default, click Next. This next step is important. Be sure to select Mixed Mode Authentication, as this is required for T4D. Now, define a password for the System Admin, or SA account. Be sure to keep it handy, as we need it later during the T4D install. Also, we can add a Windows user as an administrator. This is optional, but any user listed here may access the databases for system maintenance later on. Click Next. From here, the installer will take over to complete setup. I've sped this video up a bit, so take this opportunity to hit pause and go refill that cup of coffee. Sometimes a reboot is required after setup. First, let's click OK to confirm that there are no errors. Everything looks good. Let's reboot now. Our final task today is to install SQL Server Management Studio. This is a helpful tool that we can use for database maintenance down the road. Once again, start by running the Setup application, then click Yes to allow changes to the hard drive. Like last time, look in the Tools and Components menu, but now select SQL Server 2017 Management Studio. Click Run and Install. Once again, the installer will take over. This will take a few minutes, but I've sped up the video and we are nearly finished. And that's a wrap. The SQL server is now installed and ready to go. Most likely, your next step is to check out the video tutorial for installing T4D control server. Thanks for watching.